Hey guys, so today I will talk about the expeditions and the crash of the expeditions as I call them. The expeditions, the blue one started at over $400. They are now around $250 or $240 depending on what they are. Star City Games even lowered their price recently. So a lot of vendors have them. It was expected that you would have one per case or 1.2 per case was the number that I have been told that has been floated around before cases were open. Now it seems like we're looking at a number which is much, much um, more common. It seems to be 1.6 or 1.7 a case and closer to two. Regardless, the number is closer to two than one. There are cases where someone doesn't open one. Actually, my friend uh, Steven didn't, has a case that he didn't open one and that kind of sucks, but yeah, there are cases where you don't open one, but there are cases where you open three of them or two of them, and it just averages out, right? So when you look at the expeditions, first of all, there are a lot more of them than previously expected. And standard cards, I know people are saying expedition will push standard card prices down. Maybe um, standard will always be standard. Remember that um, people will always need standard cards to play with. And yes, the expected value is increased dramatically or the other cards in the set are pushed down. But when you have something like uh, Gideon, when you have something like Drainer that people want to play with and they need, uh, those prices will dictate themselves uh, based on demand. So I wouldn't be tremendously worried about what people are saying about the rest of the set being worthless uh, or being not very good. Standard will always be standard. And they will. It, this set will be the first set in a new kind of system. And we will see how the system works. I don't exactly know what the price on cards will be. But as of now, I assume that A, due to them being more common, B, due to them not actually looking good. So I opened one in person and they don't look as perfect. I mean, they're not full art in the sense of, you know, the full art Zendikar lands. They are full art in the sense that they have art all around them but they still have a text box. So that is, uh, I don't know, like I'll stick to original foils and that's my personal preference. But they do look good, they do look very nice. I just don't know if people are going to pay money for them. Um, people are definitely going to trade for them, but since they've come out, they have just dropped and dropped and dropped and they haven't really gone up in price. None of them have. So when you can get um, one of the lesser expeditions, uh, the non-shock, non-fetch expeditions for around $40 or $50 in cash, then you're not looking at something that is tremendously, it's beautiful, I get it, it's full art, I get that part of it. I just don't know if enough people, if the demand is up there yet. I can tell you this, supply will be a lot more because a month from now, we're gonna, considering that people are gonna draft the heck out of the set. If you think people drafted Khans of Tarkir a lot, people are gonna draft this set a lot. Uh, people are gonna play sealed with this set a lot. People are gonna buy, people have purchased boxes. Uh, people who normally purchase boxes purchase cases. People who normally play, purchase cases have six cases or, I mean, it's almost unbelievable, but if you stay with me for this channel the rest of the month, we're gonna have like a box a day kind of deal. And yeah, it's kind of crazy, right? At the end of the day, when you talk about uh, value and you talk about the guaranteed value of this set, it's not really an expedition that's pushing everything down. I think it's the full art lands, and especially the foil versions of it. A foil full art land is better than 90% of the rares in this set, and probably some of the mythics, to be honest, especially a full art foil island. But the expeditions, it's a very interesting system. It does have to comp it does have to compete with the cards in standard. It does have to compete with the full art lands, especially the foil versions of that. As you know, box prices are over a hundred dollars right now at locals. I I just get this gut feeling that they will continue to go down for the next month due to so much of this product being opening. Uh, if you if you assume people are going to have two drafts a week and stores are going to do that very readily then a ton of products is going to be open. Just a tremendous amount of product will be opened. 
and we will see what happens to the price. Either A, more common, and B, we have a long way to go before the product reaches the level of, before supply is completely reached. Um, we have a long, we have at least two more months of purely people drafting this set over and over again, uh, people playing sealed over and over again because there is that lottery feel about this set. Just like Jace, um, it's exactly Jace the World Waker over again. Did I just say Jace the, no, Jace the Mind Sculptor over again. Uh, you have that, hey, I'm gonna buy a pack and hopefully I pull that really awesome mythic. Instead of a mythic, it's like a foil mythic now. So yeah, you do have that. Um, I don't know, like it's, it feels like a lottery again. The only time I felt this way about a set or card was when Jace, uh, when I was playing uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor way back when, and it felt, feels the same way. But once the hype down dies down, Jace will always be a very powerful card, but so much of it's going to be open that there's going to be a ton more expeditions flooding the market within the next month. So I would say if you pulled one, keep it. It's really kind of a cool story to tell somebody and it's not as common. It's, I mean, it's one of the rarest cards, right? Like what other card are you talking about? Um, where it can only exist in a foil mythic um, type of standard, type of set or type of uh, probability. Uh, secondly, if you're buying, I would say wait, uh, wait f for like two weeks, maybe a month. Uh, I do feel like once enough supply comes in, the price will plummet. And if you're willing to trade for them, I would say, say trade for them at the current price. Um, because again, it's the same with shock lands and fetch lands. You need to accumulate them as fast as you can because these things are not going to be common. If you miss your chance at polluted delta trading for polluted delta, then you know what, what are your chances to trade for another one probably not too high at low cost at least anyway that's my gut feeling about the set bye guys